I'm Dana Priest, and I'm the night chair for public affairs journalism at Merrill College. I teach um, national security reporting, investigative reporting, and I teach critical thinking class called Global Disinformation and Censorship. I came here in 2014. I've been a reporter for the Washington Post for over 30 years. I still am a reporter there part-time. And I just decided that I really thought it was important to teach the next generation of reporters uh, how to cultivate sources, how to think about the world, and how to do national security reporting, which usually does take a more experienced uh, reporter to do, but there are things that I can do to help them even when they're students. My classes are always focused, even though they're national security, they're always focused on individuals and I require them. <laughs> they don't have a choice. I require them to go and do that difficult thing, that thing that makes them uncomfortable. When students come in, they're not exactly sure what their capabilities are. And probably they underestimate them because they're students, they're young. And I want to show them that it, you don't need a PhD, you don't need a special credential, you don't need to have worked in the world of journalism for years in order to do national security reporting. You just have to know a couple tricks. <laughs> and you have to have the confidence to do it. And if you can build up your confidence or fake it, uh, it'll get you so far. I find it really natural just to treat my students like uh, colleagues in the newsroom. And I really find it easy to not only treat them like colleagues, but expect them to do the work almost as colleagues. And I find that if you have big expectations, but a low key manner, you know, it, it often, more than not, it works out that students rise to the occasion. One of my favorite classes is a class I teach called Imprisoned Journalists, and each student's gets one imprisoned journalist that they have to do a profile during the semester about. The imprisoned journalist class grew out of my effort to teach national security reporting to undergraduates. You know, it's not easy. And so I really wanted a personalized approach. So I, that's how I came upon, you know, your, get, your goal is to report on this one person sitting in prison in Iran or China. But for the students, they've never done anything like that before and so of all the things that make me happy about being a journalist watching students get excited about learning new things and really discovering how much they can do as a journalist is to me uh, it's more exciting than you know earning any prize I could imagine. I'm a reporter part-time and I'm full-time here. Uh, that's more than one full job. So it is, uh, it's always busy, which I like, but I get ideas for my classes from my reporting. I am always updating my, my syllabus because of my reporting. And I always have fresh examples for the students. I feel like my classes are like living examples. They're, I set them one way and then usually, especially the disinformation and censorship class always changes near the end because some crazy thing having to do with censorship of independent media or disinformation happens during the class. It's really important to me that, that my students have fun in their classes, you know, journalism is a fun profession. <laughs> if you like to not know what you're gonna do every day, it is, it is without parallel. In my case, I really hope students leave with a broader view of journalism and of the risks that journalists take overseas to do the things that we do here that we totally take for granted. And that will hopefully make them be more serious about their journalism, want to make a difference in the world. To me, the most 
Important things journalists can do is not only hold a government and other big institutions accountable, but to right wrongs, to change the way the world is, to better individual people's lives. And you really can do that in journalism. Part of what makes it possible to teach students about national security issues and reporting is that we are in the middle of the United States agencies that deal with national security. So the CIA, the National Security Council, the White House, they are all in our backyard. And students go there sometimes to do interviews, uh, and as well as up on Capitol Hill. That is the other great thing about Merrill. There are journalism schools that are very theater theoretical, or that uh, actually have journalism students also doing the area of what I'd call communications. But Merrill is very practical, be it data, be it visualization, or be it reporting. It's all very practical. So you will be doing journalism, not just reading about it or studying people who have done it. You're gonna be doing it from the first year that you're here. You know, the other thing is the faculty, it's not just the tenured professors and the senior lecturers, a lot of our adjuncts, you know, and I think we have like 30 adjuncts, many of them work for national outlets. I would say the majority of them do. So you are learning from people who are recognized as, you know, experts, the best in their career at all levels of your education here. You don't know if there's another place like it. <laughs>